Hey there, folks. This is me, D Lo, Junior894, back again. And some interesting uh, development news came out of the article. Retro, retro article, and I put a link in the description box so you can check it out. So apparently, y'all, the U.S. Federal Court ordered Filler to restrict production of the sleep apnea device. I will repeat the title of the article again. U.S. Federal Court order Filler to restrict production of the sleep apnea device. Now, we all know what's been going on with the sleep apnea device. Uh... It has been recalled um, in the year 2021 when originally it should have been recalled long before that. Uh, if you're not familiar with the background history of, of the recall that's been going on with a uh, flip machine and the problems in general that's going with flip machine, you know, you can look it up online or check out all the videos that I have published on my channel about this problem. So, this is uh this is interesting right here. So let's get into it. So a US federal court issued a decree to destroy production and sale of filler new sleep at the machine at several uh, several fatality in the country. The Food and Drug Ministry said on Tuesday, the US District Court for Western District of Pennsylvania has entered into what is known as a consent decree against the company's subdelegate filler West wanted to curb the sale of the production until some requirements are met. Now, in my opinion, those requirements they talk about they should have been concerned about those requirements when they better start start making the machine in the first place. Maybe if you took if you was concerned about those requirements in the first place, maybe you wouldn't have this problem. If you make sure those requirements was fit from the beginning, you would have you would have a long staff of history what you got now with these uh, Philip machines. And these Philip machines definitely would be giving people problems like they're giving now. That's a that's a that's a uh, different conversation for another time. In January, Dutch Health Technology Company has said that it will not sell new device to treat sleep out machine in the United States in the coming years as it would to comply with the settlement with the FDA. And that's referring to all the lawsuits that been taking place. You know, you have people that literally has passed away due to the defect of these machines. So, got that too. So, the agreement follows the recall on millions of breathing devices and ventilators used to treat sleep after in 2021 because of concerns that firm used to reduce the noise from the device could degrade and become toxic, carrying potential cancer risks. Yes, and that was what we called the first place. Now, I also remember doing the video on the article about this when they said this was originally going on prior to 2021. They, they recalled this machine 2021 where it, where it originally was uh, giving off this type of problem four years previously. The decree also required the implementation of the recall. We medicated plan agreed to by the FDA and Philip to help ensure the relief and provided to patients impacted by the recall. The plan outlined the women uh, wim, remediation options such as a new or rework device for the patient with the uh, option for a patient refund or certain device. As part of this plan, filler is also required to make several attempts to contact a patient or a medical equipment provider regarding the action they must take to help ensure that patient receive the uh, receive 
need medication in a timely manner. Almost the whole of the company actual well registered sleep at therapy device have been remedicated globally. Philip told Wetro adding that it will retain expert to review aspect of the you know, remedication. The company said it will continue to provide new sleep app and West Rwanda care device outside the United States as the consent decree allowed for the export. So that's what's going on with the uh fill sleep app. But I'm I'm not I'm not uh, uh too surprised by this coming out because like I said before, you done had with a lot of people done died, done passed away from the defective machine. And yeah, I kinda in uh, agree with uh what's going on. Yeah, you should be uh, sell no more sleep out till you get this stuff straight. Now, that's I actually uh, could agree with this what's going on in the store. But for the weapon, I still say if they would have thoroughly uh, evaluate this machine in the first place, all this here mess would never carry on into the future in the, in the second place. You wouldn't have all this stuff like you had in 2021. If they were evaluate this whole stuff in the in, in the beginning, see, I, I I see that would get me. Why why you have to have such a major this major disaster for you to for you to take precaution that because that you should have took in the first place? I never did understand that. You have to have a major disaster to happen before you take action that action that you should should have taken in the beginning. That always, that always never seems, seems strange to me. I find that dope. I really do find that dope. But, y'all tell me what y'all think about this one. Like I said, again, I will leave the link to the offer in the description box. And for those who use this machine, or for those who know somebody who uses the machine, hey, let me know what y'all think. Elo out.